Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhypermotion.com. In this video, I will be talking about how you can use test trigger with browser stack. Okay, now what exactly is browser stack? We'll see in a while and we'll see how to configure your test trigger test with browser stack and other cloud platform as well. Okay, but before we move ahead, I want to quickly highlight that if you're completely new to test trigger and if you don't know anything about test trigger, that what is test trigger, how it works, how it is different from different tools, then I have a dedicated playlist on this and I would highly recommend you to check out this playlist because we have discussed many topics in detail. In the last lecture, I discussed about how you can execute your test on the mobile devices. Okay. But again, when it comes to this, we have a limited devices, we have limited options. So in this video, I will talk about how you can run your test trigger test on different device combinations and different browser and platform combination. So in order to continue, I will be using one of the platform called browser stack. So browser stack is one of the cloud platform, which will give you varieties of OS and devices combination, which you can use for your testing. And I will be integrating our test with the browser stack so that whatever combination you will select, it will be running on the browser stack and you will get the results back. For example, uh, I will be creating one test suite and I will be creating one test. That test I want to run on Windows, I want to run on Mac. But again on Windows, I want to run Windows 11, 10, 8, 8.1. I want to run on Firefox, Chrome, Edge browser. Similarly, I want to run my test on Mac. In the different Mac versions, Safari, Firefox, Chrome and so on. So you have a huge combination where you want to run your test. You want to make sure that your test is running on the different browsers and the different devices as well. So this is exactly what we will be doing in this video. So first, first of all, you need to create a test suite and test trigger. Okay. So I have multiple test suites and I have also shown you how you can go ahead with the test trigger in my previous videos. I will give all the links in the description. So you don't have to worry about it. After this video, check the description. You will get the application URL, the playlist and for integration also, what are the steps needed? So in order to continue, I can use existing test suites or I can create a nest new test suite and I can create new test cases and I will be running on browser stack. For example, I want to uh, create a new test suite. So I will just say browser stack test or maybe I will change test on browser stack that will be adding more value. Now again, you have to decide what kind of testing you want to perform. Do you want to perform desktop web testing, mobile web testing or native and hybrid mobile? In this video, we are going to talk about desktop web testing. Then it will ask you a URL to run test on. Okay, so for which application you want to run your test. I'm going to use this application, but doesn't matter. You can use any application that you want to automate because the integration part will remain same. So don't worry about the application part. For the timing, I will take this URL and now you can see it is asking username password not required at this moment. And you can see here we have multiple OS. Okay, so we have Ubuntu, Windows, OS X. In your case, depends on what plan you have, you will be getting the different OS. Right now, I have all the three options enabled for me so I can continue with whatever OS I want to continue. But again, it will take the latest version. Right, so let's say Ubuntu or let's talk about windows 11 10 8.1 8 7 or maybe xp if i want to do that right now that is not available so if you have the subscription of browser stack you have varieties right so what we will do uh we will be using we will not use this as of now okay what i will do i will select this ubuntu or browser whatever and i will make this as zero Keep these options then i will show you how to integrate so as of now whatever os and the browser is selected keep that default and if you click on the advanced settings you will find more options here you can see this integration right and in the integration part you can see here we have multiple options you can do the recording jira azure devops if test value test trail but again browser stack is not available how we can do that so first of all, I will not go with the advanced settings. Just create a test suite. Yeah, it will take hardly few seconds and your test suite will be ready. 
first thing that you need to do in order to integrate test trigger with browser stack you need to log into your account so right now i'm on my free plan on the browser stack so i have the limited minutes which i can use so in your case also in order to continue just create account on browser stack you will be getting a credentials log in with that credential that's all and you will see this option called go to dashboard go to this dashboard and it will be navigating to dashboard v2 and again they have an integration guide okay they will give you some quick uh, guide how you can navigate and all right now on the left hand side what you see uh, you are saying ignore this for the time being later on once we execute our test i will show you how you can access them so step number one log into your account go to the dashboard you will find something called access key and the username so this will be unique for different users so in my account it is my username and my access key in your case it will be different so if you have a business plan so multiple people will be sharing a, a account or i will say username and access key so go ahead with that so i will copy this one by one so once you get a username and access key third step will be you need to go to the settings part in the settings you will get multiple settings but as of now main thing i need to see is the integration part okay so right now if you come down further you will see something called enable browser stack see this is just one of the service but if you have let's say lambda test source lab same thing is available if you want to integrate it with lambda test or source lab same thing in this example i am going to use browser stack so guys let me know if you need a dedicated video on lambda test and source lab i can make video for that as well so i will just copy this username and i will paste here and same thing i will do for the access key that's all once you're done please come down and save this okay once your application is updated then you have to go to multiple browser by default when you don't uh, define any uh, cloud service like browser stack lambda test or source lab you will see by default provider is test trigger it means you will be running test on test trigger cloud where they have provided all this environment for you but in our case we already have created an account we have a different a different platform where we want to run our test so this option will be enabled the moment you enter username and access key if you notice the moment i okay first of all let me show you this part when i use test trigger provider i get only os options and the browser option so whatever latest os and the latest browser but if i want a different versions different browsers then we will be selecting browser stack now if you click on this okay it's not giving you this option okay so let me do one thing let me first delete this save this it says at least one option we need one second it happens sometimes let me just quickly refresh come back again uh, use browser stack yeah now we have this option okay so what I did actually sometimes when you save and if it's not reflecting just reface the browser and we're good to go so right now the default provider is test trigger and it is ubuntu now i will be selecting browser stack and let's say i want to run on windows so again windows you can see from xp 7 8 8.1 10 11 all options are available right now i'm using macbook m1 so let's say i want to run on windows 11 now so i will say windows 11 again on windows 11 which browser you want to use we have three browsers right now chrome firefox edge let me run on the chrome again you can see a huge version list which version you want to use so at the time of recording we have the latest one 106 so i can go with the latest one or 105 let me select 105 click on add browser and i don't want to use as of now test trigger provider i only want to use browser stack so i have deleted the default one similarly let's say this time i want to run okay windows 11 but this time edge edge also 
let's say 105 one more this time i will say firefox again for firefox they have huge list again i will go with uh, so it is chrome edge and firefox let's take one more option where instead of 11 let me go with 8 8 you can see now they have different options i browser firefox edge let me go with opera and opera 12.16 it means now my each and every test will be running parallelly on four different platforms so windows 11 chrome windows 11 edge windows 11 firefox windows at opera but there's no limit you can add any browser combination and it will work yeah so let me click on save application updated all fine so from test suite setting side it's all done first step you will be going to integration select browser stack provide the username access key this is what we have done save this after that come to multiple browser select browser stack from the drop down give all this combination now you can start writing your test by default each and every test will be running parallelly on four combination you don't have to mention anything since you're given four combination parallelly all will run that is a very interesting part here so what we can do uh, click on the test case and this is the freshly test suite we created so obviously we don't have any test case so let's create a custom test case and let me write here log into application and if you are completely new what to write what not to write you can follow the documentation this is the application where i want to log in and i want to verify whether i am able to log in successfully or not okay so let's continue now and here you can write the custom steps with new line separated and if you are completely new please read the documentation in my previous videos i have already shown how to type how to click how to select values from drop down so please go ahead and check out that playlist in the documentation if you want to you know enter something click something you can just refer this documentation our main motto of this video is to show you the integration with browser stack so i can write any test and it should run so let me write enter this is the application right so here let's say i want to enter admin into this username so i will say enter in double quotes i will type admin into in double quotes just the label name that's all now if you go with traditional automation tools you need to write the code you need to write the code to start browser to type to find element and all right here no just a plain english in order to continue so i will say enter admin into username then i will say enter admin 123 this is the password this is same for you as well and double quotes i will again say that i want to type in the password that's all it will enter it will do the password now i want to click so for click you know you don't need any locator i can see the text here called login right so i can say click and login that's all my test is done now if you want to verify for example i will log into this application and i need to verify maybe okay this add button admin pim leave so i can just quickly see whether this add button is available or not or let's say i will verify this icon or image or i will verify this text it's up to you what kind of validation you want to keep so let's say i want to verify whether this add button is present or not so in order to verify this i will come back here and i will say verify uh not verify here we have something called check yeah. can you see this check that page contains so i can use this directly see that's the advantage of this they have given everything in the documentation you don't need to go to any different blocks or any other documentation i will just check the page contains add that's all so let me check once enter admin into username click login check that page contains add or add and run now if you click on this 
you can see the test is running and you will see one execution id so one thing that you will notice it is running on windows chrome windows uh, edge windows firefox windows opera so it's running parallelly and if i open this execution id yeah it is getting loaded yeah it's running one by one so this is in progress in queue in queue in queue so within a seconds everything will be running and yes so this is 11 with chrome 11 with edge 11 firefox 11 with opera everything is running in parallel but how you will check whether it's actually running or not just uh, go here and on the left hand side can you see it's actually executing one by one firefox edge chrome and it will take few seconds and we will get the results so opera one okay one is already completed let me see the opera one yeah opera one actually takes some time it's loading you can see right this one so let's wait and other things is getting executed so this one is already done this one is already done this one is still in progress once it is done you will get the results directly here so let me quickly show you this part yeah this is executed and you can see we got the complete video as well just seen a full screen yes it loaded it will enter admin admin one two three see you will see some it's little slow so when you use these services right browser stack and other services it will be little slow but you will not see the different result it will work in the same manner but it will be little slow as compared to the test trigger provider yeah so i will keep it here it entered username and password yes we are able to see add that's all and then it will verify similarly this also executed firefox also executed only thing that we need to see is this opera one so this one will take time okay so but still you can see it, it executed all the other combinations and the very important part you will see a word document so let's say i want to see everything in my word document so click on this icon and yes it downloaded the complete test in my word document so it will show you what is your test case name how much time it took modified executed on which browser and which os you executed and the link to the execution and here it is showing you what are the steps that that got executed enter admin enter admin123 into password login along with the screenshot and this is checking whether ad is available or not you can see this ad employee is getting highlighted right because ad is coming here ad is coming here so this ad employee also is valid because ad employee will only come if you are able to log in successfully so this is one of the uh, great feature by test trigger along with that you can see pdf so if you want to download and see in the pdf format it's available yeah same thing but in a pdf format so how easy it is right you just need all the configuration no code required so let me repeat the complete process once again you create a test suite provide the name and you can create your test suite go to browser stack go to your dashboard copy the access key and the username then go to test trigger in the settings in the integration enable your browser stack give the username access key save then go to multiple browsers select the provider as browser stack select whatever different platform browsers you want and you can start executing your test by default each and every test will be running in parallel so the moment you have given three four combination the moment you execute it will be triggering on browser stack and you are getting report here if you want the detailed report you can go here see the complete recording you can see the different logs here visual logs networks logs and other logs as well yeah so please give a try from your side and let me know if you face an issue and i will see you in the next video thank you so much have a nice day bye bye